I'm George Verghese. I'm a faculty member with Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department here at MIT and a member of the Research Laboratory of Electronics with a group that's focused on computational physiology and clinical monitoring. One of the hardest things to do with people who don't do this kind of thing is to convince them that you use the word work differently than they do. When we say work, what we're thinking very often is learning. You know, one of the real pleasures of being in this kind of business is that you're learning all the time. We're actually constantly having new ideas come at us from random sorts of conversations. Could be in an elevator, could be at a lunch table. Um, actually, my major shift of research direction is a result of my serving on the thesis committees of students doing more, more biomedical type work. I think if you had asked me even three years ago whether I would have a group that was comfortable calling itself computational physiology and clinical monitoring, I would have been very skeptical. But I think it speaks to the kind of place we're in that um, you can actually learn and connect with people and become confident enough that this is really a, a direction that is sustainable. And then to get to where you can start to teach students about that and how to do the translation. It's important for researchers to be teachers because that's a big part of how you do research. It's teaching students and colleagues who might not be directly in your area. A researcher brings a confidence and a freshness to teaching in the classroom that would be very hard to find with a teacher who's relying on someone else's book, uh, who's relying on the problems in that book and may not have quite the confidence to generate brand new problems. Uh, I think res uh, being immersed in research gives you that kind of confidence. MIT is a very open place and there are very few boundaries for students or faculty. So it's easy in principle to do collaboration across MIT and uh, in practice we do quite well. Part of the strength of RLE is that it has the resources to really provide very good facilities for faculty and students and we're already seeing that after our transition to RLE from Lee's or Lee's transitioning into RLE. It's, it's been actually good for the kind of work I, that I do currently because I've been moving from power systems type work into biomedical and there's certainly a, a bigger community within RLE of biomedical type things. MIT is that kind of place. You can move directions uh, based on random things, based on small things, based on influence from students, and then find a whole community that will help actually draw you into the new area and where what you bring is uh, something that can amplify what uh, they're doing. The thrust of my research now is taking models from physiology, translating them to computational form, things that can be run on a computer, and using those models then to make sense of data collected in clinical settings all the way from the ICU to home monitoring. What we're trying to do is develop tools for more systematically doing the model reduction and the data trimming that humans are very good at doing. The clinicians are amazing at what they do. We have a long way to go to teach computers to do part of that uh, effectively. And so a model is just an attempt to represent the constraints that interlink different variables. And once you've done that, if you've got measurements of a few of the variables, you can hope to figure out something about the other variables. So you're using those linkages to work back and infer things about what you can't directly measure, what you can't directly see. So that's very much uh, related to the kind of math I might have been doing in monitoring power systems. I think it's a very exciting time to be involved in this kind of work. And you see it partly in, um, in the growth in the number of faculty, even in electrical engineering and computer science, who have life science type activities. I think there's about a third of our faculty who are involved in bio EECS in some form or other. And I think electrical engineers and computer scientists can bring a lot to that effort. Coming to RLE has helped me to focus on what I'd like to be doing for the next, who knows, 20 years, um, and has helped me to decide that this is really a good uh, direction and a good way to consolidate and I found the support in RLE to do that. <laughs>